Hi, I'm Mary Chibb with Bentley Systems. Today I want to show you how you can easily add interior wood panels to your building model using the curtain wall tool. Here I have the model for the lobby floor of an office building. I have modeled these interior wood panels using the curtain wall tool. In the plan view here, you can see that I've been able to model a fair amount of detail, including the clips or furring strips that are supporting the panels. Those are simply frames and mullions created with a profile cell. And in the elevation view, you can see the panels have a nice reveal between each panel. Yet the entire wall system will behave as a single entity so that I can select and move the entire wall system once placed. So let me show you how I set the system up, and then I will place the panel system on a wall. So first I will need those specialty profiles. I've already created these in the Mullion Profiles Library. So I have created a 2D profile of a C-channel clip as a parametrically constrained cell. And that will be used for the mullion. And I've created a similar type profile for the frame, it just has a little bit more of an edge to it. Then, once I have these profile cells, I need to create the curtain wall frame catalog items linked to those cells. I'm going to go back to my lobby model. and open up the catalog editor. And again, I did already set up the frame profiles. If I look under my curtain wall frame catalog type, and I have an interior frame catalog item, and that is linked to the frame furring cell. And I have an interior mullion, which is linked to the mullion furring cell. But I also need a wood panel. So I'm going to scroll down to my curtain wall panel. Create a new catalog item. I'm going to name this as the project wood panel. and save that to my work set. Now for the panel type, I'm going to consider this a wall panel. I'm going to set up a family and part, and I'm going to use one of my wall components. And use, I have a wood wall component. Select OK. I need a thickness for the panel. I'm going to make that one inch. And that's all we need to do to set up a basic plain panel like this. So we'll save that. And then I can close the catalog editor and I can create this actual system through the place curtain wall tool. So I'll go back to the architectural tab. I'm going to select the curtain wall tool. And I'm going to start with one of the delivered curtain wall systems, just a profile front with fixed spacing. But I'm going to save that as to create my new system. So we'll do a save catalog item as. Again, I'm going to call this project. wood panels and select OK. So we're going to use a fixed distance layout. Uh, we'll, we'll start from the bottom and I'm going to have the spacing on there as two feet. So that's the horizontal distance between the panels. I'm also going to use a fixed distance on the vertical. In that case, I'm going to center the panels. 
and I'm going to do a vertical spacing of five feet. So that's the spacing between the vertical joints. Then I'm going to scroll down, and here's where we're going to actually specify the panel type. So our panel type, rather than being glazing, we're going to use the wood panel that we just created. And then for the mullions, we'll use those furring channels that I created. So I have an internal and an, an interior butt mullion. I'll use that for both the horizontal and vertical mullions. And then for the frame, I will use this interior frame, and that'll be the outer edges. So that sets up our, our system there. I do want to make sure I save it, so I save all those settings to the catalog item. And then on the placement tool, we're going to place this by line. I'm going to make the height of my panel 14 feet. I'm going to put in a side offset. My furring channels are 3 inches. If I offset this 3 inches, I'll be able to trace the wall. And then I'm going to come over to the plan view here. And we're going to place this piece right in here. I'm going to just go right past that opening, and we're just going to remove panels at the opening. I want to snap to that corner there. You can see as I place this, it's a three inch offset from the wall. And I'm just going to come over to the opposite corner and snap to that corner. Go ahead and close this, and there you can see panel system placed on the wall. And since it's this panel system, it's actually fairly easy to modify. For instance, if I want to remove the frames here at the door, I can just select and delete frames. And the actual panel there, I can just hide, and then I can see my door opening there. I could also add additional joints or reveals by simply selecting one. And for instance, I could copy that entire line, maybe come over here six inches, add a little detail around the door, do the same on this side. Same just above the door. And if I wanted to remove any joints, So there I go, I was able to place that wood panel system fairly easily and then go back in and make modifications to it and get my reveals and my joints lined up just the way I wanted them. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.